I'm David Sharp. I'm the CEO of Bridging Financing, and I'm a member of the Mohawks of the Bay of Quinte here in Ontario. And I'm a business person. My, my heart is with the nation. It's on economic development. This is how we become equal citizens, not citizens minus in Canada. And it is it's competing with the mainstream and not, not having handouts. Say, no, we're, we're going to take these jobs. We are as good uh, employees and employers as Bay Street and Wall Street. So that's when the light bulb went off saying, we can't miss this. And to date, you know, when you look at bridging finance, we've lent out with the First Nations $100 million to build uh, cultivation facilities and uh, now retail. And we're committed and we're in for the long haul as partners. So really um, these opportunities, these economic opportunities only come every once in a while. So if you don't seize the day, it will just pass you by so quickly. So it's going from cultivation, so production facility um, in the community, in the First Nations community. And that means uh, shovel in the ground, grading, uh, constructing cultivation facilities, production facilities. And so we're doing that. We have one in Winnipeg uh, that is complete. Uh, plants are uh, there and they're producing. We have one in Halifax, Nova Scotia as well. And we're going to build others. So they're ready to go uh, with licensing as well on the cultivation side. And then what we're going to do is, depending as you know, that retail distribution of cannabis is a provincial jurisdictional matter. So we're going to try to get licenses. And um, if we can't get licenses, uh, licenses, we're going to exercise or the First Nation will their sovereign right to own a living. And that means selling uh, on reserve to uh, people who are consumers on and off reserve. And it's, it's a metaphor, but this is the new Buffalo. Buffalo used to drive our economy on, on the prairies and the plains. Well, this is the new Buffalo. This is something we can use and we can sell legally or exercise our sovereign right. And we can sell that. And you know it's going to make lots of money uh, for the community, but it's going to go back into the community for programming, for training, for jobs, for health care. All those things that we need in our communities and clean drinking water. So we're going to, we want to drive this. And this is economic reconciliation. And, and trust me when I say that we've had to kick down these doors. It, it hasn't been that we've been invited to the party. We've kicked down the doors and insisted on economic reconciliation and using cannabis as a catalyst.